first world flyweight champion since the late Rinty Monaghan. Blanco's got an accurate left jab. Oh, a good right! That one carried force. I was down twice in the one round, and the first punch nearly took my head off. You know when you see the Tom and Jerry cartoons? You see sometimes wee birds or wee stars. That's what you see. The punches that put you down hurt you. And the punches that put you down are the ones you don't see. As much off balance as anything, but he was certainly caught by a good punch. But you can bet everything you've got that he'll come out fighting. Oh, what a good move! He fainted with the right and shot the left. And for the first time, he's got the man on the floor. And Blanco can't believe it. That was a wonderful little shift of feet. And there it is. They still go on fighting, even after the fight is over. Who would ever have thought that we'd hear the bell to end the 12th round? 1-1-0, one, one, oh, Macaulay! 1-1-5, one, one, five, one, one, oh, that's a big margin. So Macaulay has done it and kept his title. Rita Jones. Yep. Going to the champion's own backyard, you know, you've got to take the title away from the champion. It wasn't an easy fight, it was a tough, tough fight. Yagashiji was making the fifth defense of his belt. You gotta roll with it, you gotta take it time. He had a chin like granite and he didn't cut. The only thing he lacked was a bit of this, but he had plenty of that. And after 10 rounds in, in the championship fight, I was winning easily and thinking, this is too easy. But then Yakishiji came on strong the last two rounds, but I already had it in the bank. I knew, I knew then I was the first and only Irish or British fighter to go to Japan and take the championship home.